Hi everybody, welcome to Carry On Jeff and John once again. Uh, sorry I'm late going on, I had my thumb over the uh, camera part and I couldn't put all the tires in. Um, I've got a much to French onion soup, but we're having this with some cheesy sourdough bread. Now this is absolutely awesome. My wife has been pestering me and pestering me for some French onion soup. Now this is absolutely awesome, a great tasting food, uh, hearty, nice for the winter. The cold weather's here now. Hi Kathleen, just was watching Smoked Addict and Chorizo. Smoked Addict, Kathleen, can't beat it. Absolutely fantastic. Smoked Addict's one of my favourite. I love fish, always will. Right. Um, what we let me just say hello to one or two people. I need his kitchen. Hi, sweetheart. Thanks for coming. I'm not seeing you for a while. Are you okay? Nice to see you. And you know, I'll always come and watch you. You support me, and I'll support you, darling, all the time. Hi, Wendy. Thanks for coming, darling. Absolutely fantastic of you. It really is. Um, I'm not expecting a big crowd tonight. I was supposed to have gone Sunday, but I was away. I've got some awesome photos to show you all. Um, and then we're running up to Christmas and I'll get some more um, recipes on, on here for you. Some nice Christmas recipes. That's what we want. Tracy Gaffney, thanks for coming. Always welcome. Absolutely fantastic of you. It really is. Right, I've got five people in um, and four likes. Absolutely brilliant. And I do appreciate you coming and supporting this channel. I really do. Right, what we need for this, obviously, French onion soup. Now, you wouldn't believe it, would you? You've got to have onions. And there you go. Some nice onions. There's about five onions in there. And what I've done, I've left one so I can show you how to cut this up and then to, to get it to... This is what you want. You want nice little slices like that. Nice thin slices. See them? That's what you want. Right, we'll move these out of the way. So, right, onions, brown sugar, about a tablespoon of brown sugar, some mixed herbs, sorry, thyme, a teaspoon of thyme, three cloves of garlic finely chopped, two teaspoons of plain flour, Three litres of beef stock. Now I use um, Oxos. They're just as good. But you want a nice strong beef broth. That's what you want. Right, move these out of the way. And obviously you want some sourdough bread. And a small drop of red wine. That's your sourdough bread. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. So healthy. It's unbelievable. John Brooks, thanks for coming, my friend. Absolutely fantastic. Winston family. Colleen, thanks for coming, darling. You're here. Thanks for coming. I know I've been letting you all down, say I'm coming on Sunday now, but life's getting so hectic at the moment. I am trying to get on here. I really am. Christopher Butcher and friends. Thanks for coming, Chris. Awesome, brother. Really do appreciate it. Check out each and every one of you. Chris the Butcher, he is awesome. John Brooks, another great guy. Go and check him out. Right. Seven people in a nine likes. So if someone wants to come in, give me a like, and then done a runner. Perhaps the police are after him. I really don't know. But anyway, any red wine will do for this. About two tablespoons, you know what I mean? Right. And then all you want then is some nice grated cheese, some mature cheese. Right, let's get all this uh, stuff out of the way. Right, get your red on, uh, sorry, get your onion. I'm just going to, I've kept this one off. Just cut it in half, like so and just go along at the side like that. Do 
turn it, watch your fingers, push them to the side like that. So it's down the bottom and just keep working your way along like so. When you're halfway through, turn it down and then bosh. Right. And what you want to do, now we've cut the onion up, get your clumps of it like that and just break it up like that in there. And just do that. That's the easiest way to do thinly strips of onion. Okay, that is the easiest way to, to get little thin strips like that. See that? There you go. Dead easy. Right, we're going to move this chopping board out of the way. Right, the trusty wok. Now this is awesome, this wok is. Right. Just want to thank everybody that's coming here supporting Carry On Jeff and John. You're all absolutely awesome, you really are. How are you not crying laugh out loud? That's why I've done them early here, Colleen. Always do your onions early before you go live. Because then when you start crying on the eyes, it gives you time to wipe your eyes. And I tell you what, you think, well how does his eyes not, not cry? But if you watch one of my earlier ones, my earlier videos, I, when I first started doing YouTube, right, I wore a pair of sunglasses and I put a hat on when I did my onions um, to stop my eyes from running, honestly. And I look back, I think it's so funny, it's unbelievable. Hi, Raphael. Thanks for coming, my friend. Cruiser Mac, another great guy. Texas Live Jewelry, thanks for coming darling, you're absolutely brilliant. Coley, have a look at that one, my early ones, with the, doing the, the eyes, honestly. You won't believe it, you really wouldn't. Right, let's have the waffle, and let's get cooking. Right, butter, look at that. Norpak spreadable. This is from Aldi, and I'll tell you something now, it's half the price, than a supermarket, Tesco's and all them lot. And do you know what? That's even better, honestly. Right, two ounces of butter. Remember what I told you, from one end to the other is two ounces, 50 grams. I've done it that many times. I don't have to, I don't have to wait. You don't have to be precise anyway when you're doing cooking anyway, you know. The only time you got to be precise, you say like you're doing a, uh, a strawberry chop trifle, right? You won't put up pickling onions in. That's what I mean by you don't have to be precise. You know what I mean? Right, let's get this fire going. There we go. Look at that, that's awesome. Shall we put the light on in case anybody's... Or, I tell you what, all go and get your sunglasses on. There you go, look at that. You can see me now. And can you see I'm losing a bit of weight? Voila. Hey. Can't get your breath, can you? You can't believe how thin I'm getting. No, I'm going to tell you something now. Another six months' time, I'm going to be walking the catwalk. I really am. I'm going to be a model. Right, what we need to do is just melt this down. Yeah, two ounces or 50 grams. Waiting for that to melt, and then we can have a little rabbit, can't we? 16 people in 12 lives. Voila, let's keep rocking and rolling. Lamb Long Bust, favourite number nine. What an awesome name that is. Thanks for coming, my friend. Absolutely brilliant. Is it Joe? I'll have to go and get me some. Yes, yeah, looking good, young man. Voila, eh? Do a bit of boogie and boogie on down, you know what I mean? Honestly. 
I'm dead happy tonight. You know why I'm happy? Because all my friends are here. They're all here. Right, let's put a little bit of um, olive oil in. In that. Or a smidgen. A smidgen is a small amount in burning on Trent or honestly. And what that does, it stops the butter from burning. Right. Whack the onions in. Oh. Don't waste any onions, because these were expensive, these was. These were 27 pence for about 10 onions. Can't I keep afford wasting money like this? I went to the shop and I wanted some, some uh, cooking onions, you know what? You don't get your breath, that was reduced. And I tell you what, you can't beat a good bargain, honestly. I, I'm like wetting myself if I save myself 20 pence or something like that. Unbelievable. And there was two bags of them. Said to the woman, two bags of onions here, that right? 28 pence each, she said, yes, well. I thought that'll do me, honestly. Unbelievable. Right, what we're going to do now, is your onions are in there now, with your 50 grams of butter, 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 and uh, a smidgen of olive oil. And what we're going to do, we're going to cook these for about 10 minutes. So we've been on 12 minutes. Three minutes me faffing around because I couldn't get the bloody thing. I had my thumb over the bloody thing and thought, hey, up YouTube is playing up again. And it wasn't YouTube, it was me. You know, especially all these X's and all that. Unbelievable. Please give the house a thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. Let's all have a thumbs up. How about that? Hey, voila. Hey, unbelievable. How's Barry White? If you don't know Barry White, he used to be a uh, used to play Motown music and stuff like that. Awesome singer he was. But I found him. I found Barry White, everybody. The Winston family, he lives with them, he's absolutely brilliant. I've not heard him sing yet, but it is the Barry White, honestly. Go and check the Winston family, they're absolutely brilliant. And I tell you what, Carl, in your channel is absolutely awesome, it's growing like mad, it really is. Joe Kitchener, Andy Kitchener, Joe, thanks for coming, absolutely brilliant. Joe Kitchener, uh, the Kitcheners. Great people, and I've got a lot of time for them people. And do you know what? They're here tonight supporting us. Absolutely awesome. Massive up to the Kitcheners, to your beautiful kids. It means a lot to me, this does. Really does. I can't believe that you've, you've come. Uh, you've subscribed to me, and you said I'll come and watch some of your lives. That's what you call genuine people. Absolutely. Really are. Andy. You're an absolute star. Now, Andy Kitchener uh, is, is my ex-brother-in-law. I'll tell you something about him. He's uh, honestly massive. He's great with cars and that kind of stuff. But he made me laugh. He actually broke, uh, well, I wouldn't shouldn't laugh, but he broke his leg when he played play golf. He slipped. He slipped on the ground and <laughs> broke his leg. Honestly, when, when his wife told me uh, in Aldi, they shop in Aldi and all they know all the deals are and all that. Honestly, he's really good. Also, listening to him when I was a teenager. Kathleen, absolutely awesome. Andy, top man. Thanks for coming, old friend. I am trying to cook. All we do is sweat these down and talk to you. I tell you, I don't care if they burn to whatever. It's all these people over here. Lipstick, Torito. Thanks for coming. I haven't seen you for a long time. Now, I haven't been on for about a week now. Well, a week, eight, nine days. And it feels as though I've been away for a long time. Um, we went away this week, went to Massive Castle, afternoon tea, top of the range room, cinema there, entertainment, absolutely brilliant. And that's what I'm going to do for my mum for Christmas. I said, Mum, I'm not buying you out for Christmas. She said, why? I said, turn these down a bit now, turn these down to about medium. There we go. I'm not buying you for Christmas, Mum. And her face, honestly, I thought she was going to cry. I said, no, what are we going to do, Mum? 
we're going to test you where we've just been. Nottingham, Paulsley House, I think it's called. I don't know what these places are called, but what they're called actually. For the simple reason is I just tag along. The wife books it and I just tag along, you know what I mean? Um, but it was absolutely awesome. And the beauty of it is, there was no kids. No kids running around all like that. You could really enjoy yourself. It was absolutely fantastic. Don't get me wrong. I love kids. Well, in moderation, you know what I mean? I've got three teenagers myself. And they're good. Well, they're not teenagers now. 19. Uh, Liam's 19. Um, in February. I have to think, don't I? Think. In February the uh, 19th, Kieran, my middle son, who's training to be um, a shepherd, you know, um, is it on the 18th. And I said to my wife, why couldn't you just hang out for another one? You just hang out for the 19th. So they were both the birthdays, could have been on the same day. That would have saved us some money. You know what I mean? But she just couldn't hold out any longer. Unbelievable. Right, they're sweating down lovely. Look, come on, five minutes. Let them cover them. Cover them. Oh, just cover them like that. Right, what we need to do now is get yourself one of these old tatty pans. These ones. These are from Aldi as well, Andy. Get yourself some, mate. No, not Aldi. Wilkinson's. 16 quid. Absolutely awesome. And the best pan you can get, my friend, is T-Fowl. T-Fowl are absolutely awesome. They'll tell you in here, my YouTube family. They're absolutely brilliant. Right, just let them sweat. Put your lid on top of it. Right. Three litres of beef stock. And use, I remind you, Use OXO or a good beef stock and this will be absolutely awesome for you. This is especially for my wife. Oh, wrong one. Right, what we want to do now is heat the beef stock. Just keep giving your onions a stir. Now they've been cooking for about 15 minutes. So what we've got to do now is sprinkle the brown sugar on. And what this will do is caramelise your onions. Oh. Love fried onion sandwiches, that's what I like. And I've got an awesome hot dog and cheese uh, recipe for you. It's not much of a recipe, but wait till you see what we do with this. You know what we're going to do with it, right? Hot dog and cheese, we're going to roll the bread out, we're going to roll it in the bread, and then we're going to deep fry them, and then we're going to dip them in a sweet chilli dip. Absolutely fantastic, you're going to love it. Look at them, look at them, look how they're caramelising now. What we want, we want these to be nice and soft, brown, we don't want them burnt. Right. Got a bit of red wine in there. About two tablespoons. Well, you can put a full bottle in if you want, but if you drink it and leave two spoonfuls in there, you're going to be awesome, aren't you? Let's make sure you don't get too drunk though, you know what I mean? Now, the red wine in this will just uh, give it that bit of flavour. What we're going to do, we're just going to reduce that. Right. What we need in here yeah, thyme. I always get mixed up with thyme and mixed herbs. Go and see now. Don't know what's up with me these days. Salt. Wrong way round. 
There we go. Now we don't want too much salt in there because you've got um, you've got that in your beef stock. Look at that. Look at this one I bought from uh, Iceland. Went to Iceland a couple of weeks. Uh, not last week, the week before, see the Northern Lights. Absolutely awesome when I bought this. I've always got to buy some, you know, from the uh, from a shop. Any cookery shop, got to buy some. What you do with this, pepper. Look at that, hey? Now how awesome is that? And the thing is, to a good for a good soup, there's plenty of pepper in. So if you ever be, if you're going to do your own soup, mushroom, vegetable, or whatever, does anybody like minestrone soup? Because that's one of my that's one of our favourites in this house. I'm not kidding you. If you like minestrone soup, I'm here, honestly. Right, garlic. Now garlic is one of the finest things you, you can have for your heart. Now oh, I've got a heart. If you ain't got a heart, don't bother. Don't put it in, I'm telling you. Oh, that's absolutely awesome. My wife's going to love this. She's going to love me forever. I like a lot of cream soup. The night owl. Cream of mushroom. That's it, awesome. Do the mushroom soup, so easy. I've got the link for that. Put a swirl of uh, cream in it. That's where you get the cream of mushroom soup. Heinz cream of mushroom. Heinz cream of tomato. All they do is put a, a dollop of uh, cream in it. So easy. Bowstar, another great channel. Check out Bowstar. Thanks for coming, my friend. Across the water. Does a bit of singing and all that. The Irish can't be... I tell you what, have you ever been to an Irish pub when they're all singing and that? I tell you what an awesome night. Absolutely brilliant. Dublin, here we come. Right. Look at that. Unbelievable. Right, I'm going to move that now. Right, I've got, I'm going to move it to that one there. Here we go. Right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to turn that one off. Because if I leave that one, it's going to burn the spatula in the house of all the people playing. You know what I mean? Right. My awesome friends. Oh, I love it. I, I, I love coming for you. I really do. Two tablespoons oil measure out of plain flour. <coughs> not plain flour. Sorry, not self-raising flour. Plain flour. Look at that. Just mix all that in here like that. You're going to absolutely love this. If you like French soup, this is the way to do it. And the way I'm doing it, it will take, won't take you off as long because uh, a French soup usually takes about an hour and 50 minutes. Lamb last bus favourite number nine. Thanks, I call me Wendy, another great guy. Uh, great lady, sorry. You've got to watch out for Fiore, honestly. Because what happens is, here and Wendy, what they do, they come round to my house. And they try and break into pinch all my recipes. Well, they're not going to now because I've got an alarm system fitted, uh, ladies. Right, that's cooking there, that's doing there. Right. Put the grill on. Sourdough bread, absolutely awesome. Now, this is going in now. Right. We're going to wad, had, wad. We 
we're going to add a bit of that beef stock. Now what we want to do now is get that nice and hot. Now the reason why I put some in there is because we don't want the onions to stick to the pan. Just want that nice simmering away so we don't, all the onions don't burn and stick to the bottom. That's why you put a little bit of stock in there. Yeah, the double tag. I've got to watch them, Kathleen. Honestly, they're unbelievable. Them two are a pair of buggers. Absolutely brilliant. The night owl, another great lady. Absolutely awesome. It's very foreign to me tonight. Now, John, you're absolutely awesome. Honestly, you're unbelievable. You really are. 14 people, 7 lives. Can't be wrong. You get it and I'll eat it. You're a legend, John. We're all bloody legends on here. You know what? We're all our own little family. Every single one of you are all legends in your own right. You know why? You work hard on your YouTube and you don't mess around. You're, you're genuine. That's what we want, genuine people. We are one big massive family. Massive shout out to you all. You don't, you don't realise it. You don't. You don't, we should get, we should have millions of uh, subscribers, we should, as lot, because we're true, we're genuine, we don't mess around, we don't go onto people's uh, live stream and mess around on there. People come and, like you say, they'll, they'll subscribe to you, but they don't even watch, you, they don't even watch any of your videos, and if they haven't left a comment, why would you, um, why would you subscribe to a channel if you're not even seeing their videos? It's like buying a house and never even looking inside the house. Then you wonder why it's all fell to bits and all that. It doesn't happen. It really doesn't. Raphael cooking with Johnny makes it look so easy. It, it, it is Raphael. That's why I like to do that's why I like to Hey up. I thought I'd burn me toast. Bloody hell. Raphael! That's you, that's you, honestly. That prolific pig is my guinea pig. Name is my Bargain boys! Russ, thanks for coming out, Mel's all right, my friend. I haven't seen you for a bit. I've been that busy, mate, Russ, but I do mean to come down to the shop and come and say hello to you and give you a massive hug. I really do. Just because the business is gone, mate, doesn't mean I've lost you. Because I'm not like that. Right. Probably board over here. What I'm going to do put some mature cheddar on it. Put whatever cheese you want on. If you're on a diet, you can use low, low fat cheese. It's entirely up to yourself. If you want to be a model like me, use low fat cheese. You believe that, you believe anything. Get your cheese on there like so. Plenty of cheese. Absolutely fantastic. And I'll tell you what else I'm going to put on here. You know what? Where is it? Where's that magic stuff? Here it is. S smoked paprika. You can put on whatever you want on this. It's entirely up to yourself. A bit of black pepper. That'll, that'll go nicely as well. Right, let's put this on here. That's going to be awesome, now. It's all right, I thought I'd seen somebody in the back garden. I thought it was that Wendy and um, Diana come over the fence lap. Don't you, don't worry. I've got it all light up if there's anybody out there, don't you worry about that. I've got an alarm system anyway for them two buggies. 
I really am. Right. Hi, UK scrappers. Thanks for coming, my friend. Sorry I've been letting you down, mate. I know you've been waiting for me to come on, but I'm here now, mate. And you know what it's like. You really do. Right. Turn that off. Put that on here. And what we do now is put, transfer all your onions, your garlic, uh, with the brown sugar in that, put it in your beef stock like that. This smells gorgeous. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. If you've never tried onion soup, try this. It's absolutely awesome. It is. That's onion soup, Coley. Oh, look at that. Right. Get me my me, uh, me bread knife. Right, we'll just let, we're just going to let that simmer away. Let me just have a little try of it. Puckers. Now, just season it to your liking. I love plenty Hang on. on the old motorbike, look at that pepper. Now we're just going to leave that a little bit longer, just, just to thicken up slightly. But keep trying it and see if you need any more seasoning in. It's got like a little sweet, sweet taste as well. Beautiful. You've got to do this. You've got to do this. And I'll tell you what. Tell you what else we can put in here as well. <clears throat> Tell you what, let's put a bit of cream in. A bit of single cream in as well. Now the longer you leave that, the more it's going to thicken up. We now like it quite runny, I do, but it's entirely up to yourself. But if you leave that for about 20 minutes, have we got long enough to keep rabbiting and stuff like that? You know what I mean? Look at that. Is that awesome or is that awesome? There you go. Why wow, that's bloody hot that is. Presentation, you know that. Hi Suka, thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome. Are the Winston family in here? They say they are in here, lamp. 
Lang Long, favourite Bass Man. I can't believe that's an awesome name. Which I bet. Raphael, the Winston family, I'm still here. The Night Owl, you're all absolutely awesome, you really are. Diane, UK Scrappers, Raphael, what a family we got in here. What a beautiful family we got in here. Like I say, if you want it really thick, just keep it, just keep it boiling away like that, and it'll be absolutely awesome. Love our jobs channel. We stay as long as John is on. Well, that's absolutely fantastic. It really is. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stay on till Friday, Friday night, right? And see if we can stay on that long, hey? Okay? I've got a cheat out, hang on. Yeah, I'm gonna sit on my chair. There you go. Hey. Let's see how long we can stay on now. Absolutely awesome. I can't stay here too long. Right, my friends, what I'm going to do is I'm ready for plating up, because that's enough now. That's all. Do you think we need this plate on or not? What do you reckon? What do you reckon to that? Think we need it on? It's got to be right, this has. Every time it's got to be right. Awesome. to do now let's put that on there like that absolutely awesome and there you have French onion uh, soup with sourdough cheesy paprika now how awesome is that Ralph Trucking, thanks for coming my friend, absolutely awesome, I do appreciate it, I really do appreciate you coming, absolutely fantastic. Now on the soup, well I know you don't like soup but I can't keep everybody happy, I really can't, but check some of my other recipes out and you tell me if there's any on there that you want me to cook, if there's anything you want me to cook, I'll do it for you Ralph, I promise you that my friend camera oh 
어. 음. That is absolutely awesome. It really is. But if you want your soup thicker, just let it simmer. Let it simmer for about three weeks and it'll be alright. Unbelievable. Well, not as long as three weeks. Two weeks and six days in Wendy. Okay? Kathleen, you love this way, Dark. You would. You would. You love this. Feel better soon. Random. It's random in here. Random, thanks for coming darling, not seen you for a while. Have you not, not, not been very well? At the end of the day, you've got to you look after yourself, got to look after your health, you really have. Because um, YouTube comes second in our lives, it really does. Always make sure your friends, your family and everybody's okay. That's what it's all about, look after each other. YouTube, that can spin. Like I say, I'm never going to make a fortune on here. On YouTube. If you're going to make loads of money on YouTube, forget it. You're in the wrong world. We do this because we enjoy it. It's our hobby. If we didn't do this, what would we do? Go around the streets with a catapult, smashing street lights and stuff like that? You know, or breaking in cars? This stops me from doing things like that. It really does. While I'm cooking for you, I've got proof where I am if any, any of these uh, cars get breaking into. Honestly, it's not me, I'm here. Keep showing the love. Oh, awesome. Check out Ralph Trucking, he's another, he's another great lad. I don't know if you've been on his live stream. You'll get some subscribers on there. But, you get them and then, the, what it is, some of them, they just, they don't watch your videos, like I said before. Why subscribe to somebody? Why buy a house? They're not even looking at it. You know what I mean? But I think Ralph had a bit of trouble on his, on his uh, thing as well. I couldn't really be eating cheese. And bread, we've got carbs in. But the reason why I am eating it, because the missus is in the next room. She can't hear me. But as soon as that door opens, I have a lot of that, you know what I mean? So you've been eating that cheesy bread? No. No, I haven't. I thought I'd put it in the bin, you know what I mean? Ian Matthews, go and check out Ian Matthews, he's from Yorkshire, absolutely fantastic guy. Now I know where you're from, in Lancashire. Ian Matthews is another great guy, I didn't know, he, he, he's always in Raphael's, and we're in there one night, we want to have a that Really, well, he's a funny guy as well, got a dry sense of humour. Ian Matthews, top man. Cruiser Max, another great guy. Check him out. You enjoying it, the trees and that? Oh yeah. I ought to have been a mouse. I used to come down in the night. You know like that advert, secret lemonade drink? I was a secret cheese man. Oh, I tell you, I could tell you. And I had to go upstairs. After about half hour, I start uh, burping in the night. Did you mean eating that bloody cheese again? Honestly. I even used to take it off the, uh, off the mouse trap. You don't have any cheese and I used to eat the mouse, mouse is cheese. That's what I used to do. Anyway, 
got to go. Um, got to go has got to go work tomorrow. She's just got to, she's got to let herself a little part time job. I've sent her out to work so I can run me a Range Rover. Now nah, she's doing it, she do, I've told her she doesn't have to go out to work, but she wants to go out to work because she's getting bored at home doing the washing, the ironing, and making the bed and tidying the house up. Um, so how can you get bored with that? Eh? There's always plenty to do. So now I'm the new I'm the new housewife. I've got to do some ironing. I've got to do the cook, all the cooking. If I do all the cooking anyway, that's not a problem. So I've told my lads, if they don't keep their bedrooms um, tidy and they don't put the rubbish actually in the bins, right, I'm not going to be very happy. And what my lads do, they've all got bins, but it all, always ends up on the floor. So if they ever went to the, uh, the fairground and you have to get a ball in a bucket, they'd never win. Because they can't even get it in a bit bin at home. Do you know what I mean? That's how they are. Blue cheese is my favourite. Yeah, I like blue cheese. Yeah, I really do. It's not. It's a strong cheese. Nice, uh, like a nice blue cheese um, sauce. It was nice with a, a steak. Crazy Max. That's that's a nice one. Blue cheese sauce. Awesome. It's got that nice bit of a salty taste, but oh, it's awesome. I love Swiss. Yeah, Swiss cheese. I like any cheese really. The only cheese I, I, I don't really like is like, say a piece of cheese is fell behind your kitchen cupboard and you find it about 10 years later. Then it looks terrible. I don't think I could eat that. No, I think that's a bit too long. Crumble it up and use it as a garnish on an ice tea. Awesome. Yeah, that is to die for. It really is. Thanks John, lovely food. Great host, you rock. Love your channel, my lovely Take Care. Hugs Wendy. Bye everyone. See you all next week. Wendy, thanks for coming, darling. You're an absolute star. You really are. Love you to loads. Check Wendy out. Great lady. She's only going because she can't get in the house. Honestly. And Diane, she'll be another one that can't... Um, She'll go in a minute because she can't get in the house. What they do, they try to rob me every time. They really do. Oh, I tell you. But like I say, you don't need to put the cream in, but if you want to. Ooh, slurp, slurp. Oh, it's gorgeous. How can anybody not look, not not like onion soup. Well, you don't, you just don't know, you just don't know what you're missing, mate. Mm. No wonder my wife told me to do this a crafty bugger. Because it's so nice. Don't matter about the cheese and the, and, and, and the bread going in there. Great garnish. I can't have this because I haven't really had a lot to eat today. I haven't. What we had this morning? Um, had some bran flakes with no sugar on. That is some sawdust, honestly. And today, what have we had today? Um, I've had some more, I've had cheese with celery, you know, that soft cheese, some of that. And this is it. I'm just going to have some soup, finish this off, then that will be done for the night. Because I am determined to lose this weight, I really am. Anyway, I just want to say, um, it's been an absolute pleasure cooking for you all. It really, really is. Um, you've just been absolutely, you've blown me away with all your support. You really have. I mean, 27 likes, which is absolutely awesome. 
I say it's good to get these likes. Well, if it is, I do appreciate it. We've had like nearly 18 people in tonight, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, another great, massive shout out to every single one of you. Better get some of this um, suit to my beloved, um, my wife. She's an absolute, honestly, couldn't ask for anybody better than my wife. She's an absolute diamond, really. I wouldn't part with her for all the money in the world. Absolutely brilliant. Raphael, he's like a brother to me. Great guy. Suka, everybody, just want to say it's been an absolute pleasure showing you all how to cook. Absolutely awesome. Colleen, um, all my love, all my love to Barry White, and I'm hoping he'll come on a live stream and sing a Barry White song. That would be absolutely awesome, and I'll be tapping my feet to it. I've not forgot, I'm going to show you how to do Toad in the Old Colleen. Don't worry, sweetheart. I've had to do this recipe um, for the wife. Um, my young lad's hovering around now because you know it's near the end. Oh, some onion, French onion soup. So my lad's going to have some of this. He can finish this off with a... Do you like cheese? Cheese. I've got some cheese and sourdough. So I'm just going to give that to my lad. He can finish it off. That's my, my youngest lad, Luke. I just passed it to me and then he slid off. <laughs> you like it? Mm. There you are. That's, that's that gone. It's nice with that, uh, what is it? It's cheese, that sour, sourdough bread. Is it nice? Mm, maybe not. How are you going now? No, my critics are my lads. If my lads like it, then I'm happy. I really am, because I'd cook anything for my lads, I really would. Julie, sorry I haven't um, said a lot to you today, darling, but check out Texas Life with Julie. She is one of my earliest uh, friends I ever met on YouTube and she's an absolute star she really is and check her out um, leave her a comment and she will always love back now I'm hoping your husband's getting better I know you had a long uh, bit of a bad time with your husband with health and all that Julie um, but I'm always here for you, sweetheart. I am, truthfully, I'm always here. Really am. Um, Julie just recently moved house, which, which has got to be a big thing. I think she lived where she was for about 30 years or whatever. Uh, but to move at that age uh, must be hard, you know, seeing new surroundings and all that, you know. But uh, she's done it. And I have every success for you, Julie. I really do. I'm eating soup and share just spread soup with Vinda and one half with mine and second with my sister that I kids play. You're out there, Raphael. It's so easy to do a soup. Okay, you brought me some bread. What do you want? Some bread so I can dip it in. Yeah, you do. Another one of them sourdough. No, that's that weird bread though. Yeah, it's nice. That's that soup. It is nice, that cheese. Nice though, isn't it? Yeah, I've got, pap got paprika on as well. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That sets off. Mark, we love paprika in this house. Beautiful. The only time we don't have um, paprika on food is when we're having um, bananas and custard. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Luke? Yeah. You don't know that, do you, son? Uh, you know what I mean? I've even had to butter the bread for my young lad. You know why? 
because I, I I smell it right to the edges. There's nothing worse than when you you know the bread at the end when you don't well, the, there's no butter on the end. You might as well cut the cut, cut the uh, crust off and then and then just uh, do it. You know what I mean? I think they're just having me after these. Mm. All right. I don't know that. He's, he's at the table, he's lapping his head off at me and pulling faces. You know what I mean? Don't matter how does it. Anyway, though, I've got 27 likes here, Luke. That's, that's good, isn't it? That's going up, isn't it? Yeah, it's going up. So is a rocket. Rocket's going up and all. Support the movement. Yeah, support the movement. That's what we've got to do. Hey, support support the uh, the Soul Brothers. That's what we are. We're, we're, we're the uh, we're the uh, what we call them. We're the Yardies. Right. Yeah, the Yardies always stay together. I love butter on bread. Are you got to have butter, darling? Do you live at number nine, or how did you get that name? Number nine. Mrs. Clark lives at number nine on our street. I can't. Uh, Lamp long, bus favourite bus favourite number nine. Ah. I can't believe I've been in here nearly fifty-eight minutes. I'm used to come and then clear off. You know what I mean? Anyway, I've got to go. Um, I just want to thank every single one of you. We're coming to check us out now. Go, go, John, go, John. Laugh out loud. You're right there now, Tom. I've got to go. I keep saying I'm going to go. You know what I mean? I went years ago. Anyway, from Carol and Jeff and John, I hope to see you Sunday. But something might happen. I might get, I might get kidnapped, or something like that. And they might tie me up in a barn or something. And there'll be no communication to get back to to uh, have a word with you. But I will try my best and I'm going to find another awesome uh, recipe. Now I'm losing all this weight because I never get to eat any of this food because my lads always pinch it. But when they go to college, I'm going to start cooking then and then I can eat it and they won't even know I've been cooking. You know what I mean? Anyway, UK Scrapper, take care my friend. From Carry On, Jeff and John. Now that's an absolute walla.